Hey there, YouTube. I have a quick review for you guys today. I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet, not run my suck too much. This is the ATS Tactical Aegis version 1 plate carrier. The uh, reason I'm doing this review is because the only other review I was able to find for this thing online was one guy on Defense Reviews who was writing a uh, short article on good stuff to deploy with, and he wrote a few sentences, maybe a paragraph about this guy, and uh, took a few pictures with it, but I wanted to give you guys a video so that you could actually see what it, you guys were getting yourselves into if you decided to purchase this thing. So, first off, the reason I bought it, there's a few things. One, I run small plates even though I'm a medium guy. I like to be able to get the toe of my buttstock in right around here and actually square up with my rifle and my pistol without the buttstock sliding around on the plates. So I got one that was small. I run small plates. Uh, most companies, they make either large or they make a 10 by 12 inch. So you end up throwing the small plate in there and then you have a bunch of material on the sides. So one of the few companies that actually offers a high quality plate carrier in small. So I got that. I was interested in getting the Grey Ghost Gear Minimalist Plate Carrier because it had the uh, front pull adjust, which makes things a lot easier, but uh, these guys have it too. So with a lot of plate carriers, I know like the uh, Eagle uh, PCs, you got to reach around to the back to adjust the thing, which can be a pain in the ass sometimes. This guy, once you snap it shut, all you got to do is pull forward and to get it adjusted. So that's nice. You have uh, air mesh in here, which is pretty nice, um, especially if you're like me. I'm running level four standalone ceramic plates that, um, oh, excuse me, level four standalone ceramic plates without backers. So it's nice to have some padding so you're just not getting that hard plate digging into your body. Um, what's another thing? <sighs> the padded shoulder pads, I wasn't really uh, that excited about. I uh, didn't care one way or another but uh, it is pretty nice that they put the Velcro on the bottoms so the pads don't slide around like they do on some other ones. And even though uh, they give you, they definitely give you a lot of uh, room to play with here on the straps, so I just fold it over and it works pretty well. And I'll fix that later. One thing I really liked about it was that it didn't have any built-in magazine pouches with the bungees, which I totally hate on the front. All it has is these panels will lift, will lift up so you can actually take this guy out, lifts up in the back too, back here, and you can replace it with the cummerbund is what it looks like. So not too much uh, going on the front either. Pretty drama free. When you purchase this, uh, I actually custom ordered mine. Um, when you purchase this, this entire top thing is coated in Coyote color Velcro, and then of the three molly columns that are behind these mag pouches, the two bottom ones, so one, two, those are covered in Velcro too, and then you have two female Fastex buckles pointing downwards that are sewn in, and all that is for attaching chest rigs if you want, especially the ones that have the Velcro backing to help them stick to your PC easier. So I called, actually I emailed ATS, their customer service is 10 out of 10. They were totally cool with, they didn't even charge me for the modifications. I told them I wanted to leave all the Velcro and the Fastex buckles off because I knew I was going to run it like this. And uh, a couple weeks later, when they actually got around to building the thing, they even called me just to make sure, called me on my phone just to make sure that they had gotten everything down right and they were doing it exactly the way I wanted. So 10 out of 10 on their customer service. They're awesome. And uh, let's see, it was 200 and something dollars just over $200. That's including shipping and handling and tax. So I think it was like $190 or $189 before that. So not a whole lot of money spent on this thing for a pretty quality piece of gear. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to ask them down in the comment section. And uh, that's it.